Don't you just hate it when your clothes clash with your hair? Hey guys, and welcome back to Art of La and today's lesson in Drawing People 101, we're going to look at the head. There are a lot of things that I need to teach you about drawing the head, so don't think that this one video is going to cover it all. Think of this as just your introductory video of kind of understanding what makes up the head. And I'm not talking about the eyes and nose and mouth and ears and all that kind of stuff. We're going to touch on those, but I'm going to have total separate videos covering each one of those things, along with some other videos on drawing the head, like in the profile and blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Today I'm going to be talking about what's going on underneath the skin. So prepare yourself. We're going to look at a drawing of a human skull. And we're going to talk about kind of dividing up the face and the guidelines with that. And then we're going to take all of those guidelines and throw them out the window and talk about pushing the boundaries and how people's faces are different shapes. Yeah, that's what makes our faces so cool. So let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is take a sketch that I did of the human skull. Now, if you don't have a sketch, you can definitely just look at some photos, some human anatomy pictures, but you wanna look and see what the skull is looking like so you find where all the crevices are and, and bends and bone structures and all that because it's gonna help you to be able to design your face. Then we're gonna do the basic guideline of the human head. This is something that just about every single art teacher teaches their students when drawing the human head. So first we're going to divide it down the middle, right between the eyes, between the nose, right along down to the chin. Then we're going to divide it horizontally from top to bottom, roughly halfway. And this is going to give you an idea of where your eye line is going to be. Now from the eye line halfway down to the chin, you're going to divide again, again roughly. This one, this skull has a little bit of a larger chin, but this is going to be your nose line. And then halfway between the nose line and the chin is going to be your mouth line. Again, this is all just based on generalizing. One person is so different from another person. This is what makes people different, look different, is their proportioning and, and all of that. So this is just a general guideline. Now from that line where I usually put the eyes, I'm gonna draw kind of a U-shape, and it can be a pointed U-shape or a rounded U-shape depending on the jaw, um, but this is going to help you fill in the, the flesh area of the cheeks. After you have that put in there, then you can go ahead and begin adding just some basic marks as to where your eyes are, nose are, mouth are, and you can see I'm just going to use some circles to make sure I have them in the position and placement that I like. Then I can go back and begin adding a little bit more detail. This is just a basic video lesson on drawing the human head. I will be covering eyes, nose, lips, you know, ears, hair, all of that in a little bit more detail. And I also actually have some videos already posted on those topics, but if you don't want to wait for those to come out, you can definitely check through my video archives and take a peek at those. And before you get into drawing really cartoony and getting really into character drawing, I want you to get comfortable just drawing the human head. So this is just going to take a lot of practice. I will take pages from my sketchbook and just begin to draw them over and over and over again. And just like I say don't draw the, your hands or your feet in the same position over and over again, don't just draw a female head or a male head, whatever one you're comfortable with. You're going to see through my drawings that my female heads I'm much more comfortable drawing because I didn't draw a lot of guy heads. Um, and so that's something that I'm still working on. I didn't balance that out. So I really encourage you guys, if you're really comfortable with, you know, one kind of head, like a guy head or a girl head, that you will just um, push yourself to draw the other sex. And uh, you really find that it's going to help to um, strengthen that. Also, don't be, don't be afraid to play with that jaw. Making that jaw wider or more narrow is really going to change the way your face looks. So here on this third character, I'm giving him a very square jaw. I'm bringing that jaw almost straight down instead of having it curve in. And it's going to give a whole different look to your character. So play around with the different shapes and all this. You'll see that in these sketches, um, I'm not worrying about hair. I think only on a couple of the sketches throughout the entire video I'm actually going to put hair on, um, but not even in that much detail. Um, I just want you guys to focus on just drawing the head. You'll see that I do have a lot of kind of detail with the face, facial features of the eyes, nose, and mouth. Just do the best that you can. Uh, you know, if, if you can draw really great facial features, awesome. But I just don't want that to be your focus. I want your focus to be the construction of the head. After you get comfortable with the actual construction of your head, then you can really begin to stylize that. And if you look at different like cartoon companies, you'll see that they have a definite style to theirs. So like Disney is going to have your super big eyes and your really round cheeks and big lips and 
and poofy hair, but I'm not going to draw the hair. Uh, and you're going to just see that really kind of, you know, cute style where if you look at, say, like an anime, you're going to have your big eyes, yes, but you're not going to have the really, you know, prominent cheeks. It's going to be more of a slender face um, and the eyes are drawn a little bit different. And I just encourage you again, in my early art journey, I grew up drawing just strictly like Disney stuff. So you'll see that really strong kind of style through my art. As I got into my teenage years, then I really picked up on anime and drew a lot of anime as well. So then drawing realistically was really challenging for me. It is still something that I have to really work at. So I encourage you to, even if you just love drawing a certain style of art, whether even if you're drawing people, whether you're drawing animals and it's just a certain style that you have, to make yourself every once in a while draw something that's not your normal style. It's going to help you to be able to um, become a well-rounded artist. And also it's going to help you break out of that stereotype. It took me a long time to be able to break out of that strictly Disney-esque look. I mean, because every character looked like Ariel you know, just with brown hair or blonde hair or something, but they look like Ariel. And it took me a long time to break out of that. But if you can push yourself to draw in different styles, you'll break out of that and find your own style a lot faster. So check out different artists, how different artists draw their characters and try to imitate that style. So here I have, you know, one drawing is very Disney, one's a little bit more anime. Here I'm picking up more of a American style comic, more like a Marvel style um, and just trying to um, emulate that kind of art. And you're going to see that the same kind of structure of dividing the faces still kind of applies. Before I end this video, I want to briefly talk to you guys about drawing the head in a profile. So when you go to draw the head in a profile, I want you to first draw that kind of circle that we start off with and put the neck in. It's going to just look like a little lollipop. And then you're going to bring down the side of the face, just a straight line, and then curve out the jaw out of that. Then you can kind of divide that up. Now, later on, I'm going to talk about, you know, constructing the nose on top of that. Um, but I want you to kind of be able to turn your head a little bit because you don't want to just get comfortable drawing your head straight on. Just push yourself to draw to three corners or looking down or looking up or looking from behind. As much as you can, draw your head in different angles. This is going to come from just looking at reference photos and really looking at how you can see the inner shape of the head and just drawing that out. It's not something that as an art teacher I can teach you step by step draw this line, this line, this line, because even the slightest turn is going to change out the outcome of how your drawing looks. This is a great exercise for any artist, whether you are just beginning your art journey or you have been arting for a long time. Just practice, practice, practice. Well, I hope this video encouraged you guys and you're ready to grab your sketchbook and just begin to draw a ton of different faces and heads. Now remember, don't try to draw them all exactly the same. Push yourself to draw the human head in all different angles. Practice with different styles and methods. It's really going to help you strengthen your style as an artist as well. If you're brand new to this channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. And until next time, God bless you guys, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye!